South Effingham football had high hopes for 2024 in terms of what the program is building. Lauren Purvis went six and four in his first season as head coach last year, but the sophomore slump has seen the team come out slower this fall. Due to postponements with Helene, the Mustangs' game against Glen Academy was moved to this week. We had a bit of Tuesday night lights in Guyton. Mustangs looking for that first win of the season. It's not every day we get to show you punting highlights, but this one deserves it. Tuck Tucker has some turf to work with just one minute into the second quarter. Look at the roll he's going to get. This thing is going to stop at the half yard line. The Glen Academy defense forces a punt. After that punt, offense looking for their first touchdown of the night. Check out the wheels on Tyree Chisholm. The junior quarterback goes completely untouched. It's 10-0. Defense would hold again for the Red Terror. Then look at Chisholm work again. This time, he's got some adversity in front of him. Look at the way he just spins out of it. Somehow gets out of it out of the pack. He reverses field for the score. It was more the same the rest of the night. South Effingham falls to 0-5 on the year after a 31 to nothing loss at the hands of Glen Academy. With all the changes to the high school football schedule, here's an update on games being played across this region on Thursday. Liberty County welcomes Groves. Long County is still perfect on the year as they play at Windsor Forest. Hilton Head and Bluffton kick off at 7 p.m. And look at the one on the bottom right. That's going to be a great game being played at Islands High School. While we're talking about ball later in the week, here's a quick look at what you can expect on the end zone. Our team is on track to be at 10 games across the Coastal Empire in Low Country. I was excited for this schedule when I first looked a few weeks ago, and we're very eager to bring it to you this Friday. Well, hey.